guys so today i just wanted to give you guys a quick little recipe that is really good and i'm actually taking it to thanksgiving tomorrow so i thought i would share it with you guys i'm 100 not taking credit for this recipe because it came from bettycrocker.com but it is all from scratch and it is really really good so i thought i would share it with you guys and maybe yeah you guys can try it out and let me know if you like it okay i'm just gonna start off with the ingredients here we have four eggs, two cups of granulated sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, one can of pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix. This is 100% pure pumpkin, two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and in this little bowl, I have all of my spices. So we have two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon of ground cloves. So that is everything that's gonna go into the mix. And then this stuff over here is the stuff for the cream cheese frosting. So my little tip is to blend up the eggs first before adding all the ingredients, just because that's something that I always do and I feel like um, my stuff always comes out pretty good. So that's how I always do it. So now we are just adding the sugar, oil, and pumpkin into the mix, and we're gonna blend it until smooth. Okay, I made kind of a mess here, but like I said, this is the pumpkin, sugar, oil, and eggs, and we're just gonna blend it all together. Forgot to mention that raisins are optional if you're into that, but my family does not like raisins, so we're skipping out on that part. So the next step is to add all the spices and the flour. What I like to do is mix all of the spices together in that one little bowl, just so everything is kind of mixed all together and we're not getting like one clump of flavor, even though, you know, we are blending it all together. I just like to take that extra step and mix all of the spices together. So I already put the flour in there as well as the spices and I'm just making a freaking mess here. But yeah, now we're just blending everything together. So everything is all mixed up and ready to go. So now we're just going to spread it into the pan. So this pan is a 15 inch by 10 inch by one inch and we're going to grease it with shortening and then lay the mix down. Isn't my little tree so pretty? <laughs> I got that from Hobby Lobby's a couple years ago. So like I said, we're just gonna take the shortening and put it on the pan. And I know this pan looks like it's dirty, but I promise that it's not. There's just some kind of permanent stains because I have used this a time or two, but I promise that it's clean. So now it is going in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, just depending on your oven or until golden brown. So while that's baking, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the cream cheese frosting. We have three ounces of cream cheese. This is gonna be one third cup of butter or margarine. And I just threw the one teaspoon of vanilla into the same bowl and two cups of powdered sugar. So you want to beat the cream cheese, butter and vanilla before we add the powdered sugar. So now we are beating in the powdered sugar just one cup at a time. Delicious cream cheese frosting. Okay, the pumpkin spice bars are ready. We are just going to cool them for two hours and then we're gonna frost them with the cream cheese frosting and add the walnuts. And voila, this is the finished product. You want to cut into seven rows by seven rows and store it in the refrigerator and they are ready to go.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and let me know if you guys try this recipe. Trust me, it's a winner.